Hi friends, please like, subscribe and share my YouTube channel. So I want to give you some of my SEO tips. SEO stands for search engine optimization. Most of you probably know that, but if you don't, what you're going to be doing is optimizing your videos to be found in search. And as you can see, these are my rankings for my tags. Number one for pretty much everything. And I've ranked videos in number one, like best heating company in Toronto. I've ranked that number one. I've got so many number one rankings and that's because I understand SEO. So I'm your go-to guy. Trust me, SEO titles, what you want to do. There's something that tr trumps SEO and we'll talk about it later. It means SEO will be irrelevant. But for the most part, when you're starting, what I try to do is cram as much as I can in the title. This is my technique. Other people's may be different without hitting 100. If you over cram keywords and do what's called keyword stuffing, you won't get a good ranking. But what I try to do is all right, let's say Dalhousie University and then tuition costs for international students. You have so many keywords in here. You have Dalhousie University, you have tuition costs, you have tuition costs for international students, you have international students, you have this whole thing as a key phrase. So a lot are already in there and I use this bar over here. This bar is located close to the L on your keyboard to the right. If you add this little bar over here, you can fit in more keywords and make it look relevant. So I put Halifax, Nova Scotia, so I can rank for Halifax. All right, so that's your title. Are we gonna talk about descriptions and tags? I wanna break it up so this course is easy and bite-sized. Uh, but what I want you to do is to fit long keywords and key phrases into the first part of your titles. And then I want you to use this bar and then add more, okay? Don't put the word Halifax in there five times. YouTube will understand that you're keyword stuffing. Don't put international students in there five times. Again, YouTube will understand. But if you put long phrase, key phrases that can be broken down into smaller keywords and then fit another keyword that's relevant at the end like the location where you're at or uh, you know like uh, plumbing tips if we're using the plumbing example or plumbing channel uh, then you can uh, also put them in descriptions and tags and we're gonna talk about that but this is how you do a title don't overstuff don't get to 100 but you can do anywhere from 50 to 75 or 40 to 75 words in your title um, or actually I believe that's uh, characters in your title is pretty good Let's talk about descriptions. What you should do is, you don't have to focus on putting too many things in your descriptions, but I, what I recommend you do is put your websites and your social media handles in your descriptions. We'll talk about how to add those later on and upload default so that they go every time you upload a new video. Um, and we'll talk about affiliate links, but these are important things to do. Uh, but the number one thing, we're doing SEO right now, so let's avoid that, is I want you to write one healthy, relevant description, but also try to get the keywords in that description. And it just has to be half a paragraph or a paragraph long, anywhere from 100 to 200 characters even suffices. If you want to write longer and it's relevant, sometimes it can help you, but all you need is a short, healthy description. Um, and I want you to put the keywords. So as you see, Dalhousie University is in there. Uh, international student is in there. Um, I should have ideally put tuition costs in there, but I failed to do that, but that doesn't matter. It still ranked very well, got over 4,000 views, and it's super niche. It's like one small university in Halifax. But again, I'm using that technique. That's why it's so bulletproof. Just one healthy description and try to fit these in there. Don't fit a keyword in there more than two or three times. Sometimes you can get away with doing it like five times, but if you have a short description with like five of the keywords stuffed in there, like Dalhousie University five times, again, YouTube will find out. You don't want to keyword stuff. Both Google and YouTube know about that, and they're getting more advanced, but you know, they want you to put relevant keywords. So that's relevant. That's pretty decent. Make it short, make it healthy, and include those keywords from your title in your description. Again, I want to thank you for taking this course. I value as a student, and I hope you're learning a lot from this. I also want to briefly apologize for sometimes speaking too fast. This is a topic I know a lot about and something I get so excited by, so I speak very quickly sometimes, and I know a lot of people from around the world take my courses, so if you don't understand something, I'd be happy to reiterate for you. I'm sorry if I speak fast. I will attempt to slow down but remain engaging. Now, in terms of tags, all you have to do, I talked about consistency between the title and description, and I'm going to remind you again and tell you why it's important in the next lecture but what I want you to do is include the tags that you're using here and the ones that you're repeating in the description and put them in your tags so Dalhousie University bam Dalhousie University Dalhousie University tuition costs I'm using Dalhousie University and adding another word at the end of it to rank for key phrases so I've used Dalhousie international students Halifax Nova Scotia tuition costs um, international students in Halifax international student Halifax. So all of these things is I'm taking the keywords and just adding another word at the end. Keywords are also, you know, in the description. So if you look, the tags that I'm using um, are everything that you see 
in the description, and some things I haven't even wrote in the description, like attending Dalhousie University. It ranked number one on YouTube if you search it right now. This tool that I'm using is ToolBuddy, and don't worry, I'm not skimming over it. I'm going to teach you how to get these numbers and these rankings later on, but I'm just teaching you the SEO right now. So this is how you should, um, how you should actually title and tag. Consistency among these three things is going to be incredible, and that's what's going to boost you. So let's talk a bit about how to keep it consistent and relevant, and how to write these out fast, because I told you I want you to upload quickly. I'm going to teach you how to write so it comes naturally, and you don't have to, you know, follow a technique or a formula or a method rigidly that'll take time. I'm going to teach you how to just write out these description tags and titles, do it fast, and then get those videos to rank naturally like you didn't even try.